Пожар по крену выполнен. Выдаем. Roll maneuvers complete. And we are ready to uh, start probe extension. Copy. Probe extension command has been sent. Range is 32 meters, and I'm starting to fly around. Copy. I have a great uh, stable visual of the target. Everything's nominal. I copy that, Alexander. Thank you. Spectacular view of the Soyuz MS-13 beginning its fly around under the control of uh, Alexander Skvortsov, the Soyuz commander. We're in a uh, handover of satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll reacquire the downlink video from uh, the station momentarily. Everything proceeding uh, in good fashion with uh, this relocation of the Soyuz uh, from Zvezda to Poisk, opening up the aft port of Zvezda for the return of the unpiloted Soyuz MS-14 Monday night. Uh, starting to get the um, backdrop of Earth in the um, periscope. This view uh, over Russian ground stations uh, showing uh, the view from the Soyuz spacecraft you, uh, as it uh, has initiated the fly around under the control of Alexander Skvortsov. Now a view uh, from a camera on the truss of the International Space Station showing the Soyuz vehicle, its thrusters firing. This is all uh, under the manual control of Skvortsov, a veteran Russian cosmonaut in his third flight into space. The International Space Station, uh, the Soyuz MS-13 flying free for the next several minutes soon to, uh, to pass directly over the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana. The uh, Soyuz uh, MS-13 that you see in the field of view, its docking probe now fully extended. Once uh, the Soyuz redocks uh, to the Poisk module, uh, there will be a brief period uh, where relative motion between the Soyuz and the International Space Station uh, will be allowed to dampen out before that docking probe is retracted to basically pull the Soyuz in for a hard dock, hard mate uh, to the Poisk docking port itself. That will initiate uh, the closing of the hooks uh, on the Soyuz side. Uh, that will be the precursor and, uh, to about two orbits or three hours worth of leak checks to make sure we have an airtight seal between Soyuz and Poisk before Skvortsov, Parmitano, and Morgan reopen the hatch to the International Space Station and return uh, to the station itself.
Дальность также сохраняется 35 метров. Заворот по тангажу практически закончен, осталось немного. A Sunday drive uh, for Skvartsov, Parmitano and Morgan as they are in the process of repositioning the Soyuz away from these Vezda service modules aft port. Skvartsov manually flying the uh, Soyuz MS-13 to a position about uh, 38 meters directly above the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment where he will stop once again uh, for a brief period of station keeping and a repositioning, a reorientation of the solar arrays through a roll maneuver before pressing in for final approach and docking. Uh, going um, along the longitudinal axis of the service module. Copy and we're watching. Устойчиво наблюдаю станцию. I have an excellent visual on the station. Happy Alexander. And this view uh, showing the crosshair engineering camera on the Soyuz MS-13, uh, almost in the center of the crosshairs, the docking port on the Poisk module. Skvartsov reporting a good visual on uh, the docking port itself to Poisk as he fine-tunes uh, the orientation of the Soyuz. There'll be another period of uh, station keeping here momentarily before he presses in for final approach and docking. We have five command in work. Zero six fifty three twenty two. We have five command has been sent. Range is uh, thirty two meters. And we're starting starting the um, final approach, accelerating towards the station. Copy that, Alexander. With all of the uh, Soyuz systems in good shape, the docking probe that you see at uh, the forward end of the bulbous portion of the uh, Soyuz, uh, that's the orbital module, the basically the top portion of the Soyuz itself. The crew is in the center section of the Soyuz in the descent module, Parma, uh, Skvartsov, Parmitano, and Morgan. The aft uh, end of the Soyuz, uh, that's the white section with the solar arrays, that's the instrumentation and propulsion module. Final approach initiated by Skvartsov, everything uh, looking good. What is the current range, please? 25 meters. 25 meters. Even. Copy. I have a great visual on the docking target. And the overlay size uh, where wise matches uh, the distance on display. Copy. Range is 18 meters, 18. Selecting THC pulse mode, and that's complete. Switch to pulse mode on the translational hand controller.
260 miles over Mongolia, the Soyuz about uh, 13 meters away from its new port of call, the Poisk module, under the command of Soyuz uh, Commander Alexander Skvortsov. We're in the home stretch of this relocation activity. Target is at the center. Crosshairs are still aligned. Everything's nominal. At the time of contact and capture, uh, a few moments from now, the Soyuz will be traveling about one tenth of a meter per second. The range is about nine meters, um, which is um, one and a half squares on the overlay. Copy. Two squares on the overlay. Six meter range. Copy. Skvortsov, Parmitano, and Morgan almost home to complete this relocation maneuver. About five meters now separating the two vehicles. Getting ready for station keeping. Copy. Station keeping confirmed. Copy. Pressors are aligned. The target is uh, practically dead in the center. One more opportunity for station keeping uh, to make sure that we have a uh, precise alignment between uh, the Soyuz and Poisk at the bottom of your screen. Skvortsov will reinitiate the final approach uh, for docking a moment or two from now. Copy. And now pressing in again. Closing in. Copy. Standing by for contact. Standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Standing by for contact, Moscow. We copy him. Standing by, Alexander. Contact. Contact confirmed. And capture confirmed. Docking right on time at 10.59 p.m. Central Time, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-13 flew just to the east of Beijing. The relocation successful under the control of Soyuz Commander